Hi guys, thanks for joining me. So today I got this big heavy super dog bag and um, I went into super dog on payday. So I picked up a few different bits and pieces and I thought I would share them with you. Um, get actually remember what I bought or if I needed it, but I'm sure I did. So the first item I'm going to pull out here is the John um, Frieda Frizzies Extra Strength Serum for thick or coarse hair. And um, this is exclusive to Superdrug. I picked this up because I thought my husband was going to help me and I was going to straighten my hair. I can't do it all myself because my arms are too kind of, my arms get too sore. So Steve's really good at helping me. Um, however, we kind of didn't have enough time, so I wasn't able to get it straightened. But I'll keep that aside for when I do straighten it. I also picked up some section clips um, just for when it has been straightened to help section it out. Now, let me see. The hair serum was $6.99 and the section clips were £2.59. That's a waste of money considering I didn't do it, but I will use them next time and it was payday. <laughs> That's my excuse. I also picked up this um, Dove Exfoliating Body Scrub. Um, I love a body scrub and this was £2.98. I think it had money off it and I like that, it's got a plastic. Oh, it smells amazing. Can't wait to use that. And the next item I got here, I picked up three of the face masks because it's three for £2. Um, I've got a Dead Sea Purifying Clay Mask. I got a tropical cocktail peel off mask and I also got the super fruits exfoliating mask. These are my favorites. Now I find I can get two um, masks out of these. I, I don't use the whole thing. So yeah, I usually find I can get two. I can put the other one, I put it in the fridge once I've used half it up. And again, they're cruelty free, which is fantastic. And it says 100% happiness guaranteed. So if you don't like it, you can return it. And the packaging, um, it's not recyclable at the moment, but I'm sure hopefully we'll come up with something in the future. The next item I got all again was for getting my hair done was this tail comb. And I think that was only about a pound. Yeah, 99 pence. I also picked up, these were on offer and um, they were one pound each. Normally I think they're two pound. And I thought I'd just give them bash because I love the cherry and almond um, shower gels. And I thought if failing that, they could either, if they're not any good for my hair, I can just send them up the road and Stephen or Brandon can use them. So it's cherry almond for coloured hair and the conditioner. If you've never smelt this, honestly, the shower gel is amazing. But you know me, I love that. <laughs> so it might not be for everybody. And I also picked up the conditioner and shampoo. And that's in coconut, two of my favourite smells there. And the last thing I got here was the Garnier and it's the Rose Soothing Cleansing Milk. Um, I have the Rose Toner from Garnier. Um, it's a vegan formula, but I don't think they're cruelty free. So maybe I need to stop buying them actually. I never thought of that. The vegan gets me every time. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a vegan formula, but it's not... A, they shouldn't be allowed to put vegan on it when it's not, um, in my opinion. Cruelty free is vegan to me. Um, I can understand why you can be cruelty free and not vegan. So, for example, if you use honey, it's not vegan, um, but it's cruelty free. Depends on your stance on that, I suppose. But, um, yeah, if they're testing on animals, it shouldn't be vegan, in my opinion. So, yeah, I really need to be careful with what I'm buying because so many of the cheaper brands... Um, this was on offer and it was 169 but so many of the cheaper brands don't test. Um, and I think it's, when we say it's cruelty free, it, it might, you know, it might be that they don't test in the UK or France or whatever, but if they sell in China, by law, they have to um, test the ingredients. So I kind of feel a bit bad that I picked that up. But anyway, I've bought it, so I will use it. But the, the toner is really nice, so I thought I'd get the cleansing milk to go with it. And just give that a wee bash. Not that I need cleansers, by the way, so I don't even know why I picked it up. <laughs> I'm trying to be good and only buy what I need. However, I must admit, when I was in Superdrug, picking up a few bits and pieces, I did think, what else can I pick up? I can make this a haul. I can't make a haul out of two, three things. So that's bad. <laughs> From my opinion, that's a bad way to be. Um, so I need to kind of keep my eyes 
like kind of conscious that I'm not going to do that again. Um, so anyway, yep, the shampoo and the conditioner, the coconut shampoo and conditioner, the Garnier soothing milk, the three for two face masks, the um, John Frieda Frizzies, the Dove Exfoliating Body Scrub. Now, please tell me that Dove is cruelty free. No, I can't see anything. But Joe Smith will be able to tell me. Um, she's really good. I would have thought Dove was. Yeah, I need to start checking labels properly. Um, and, oh, and I also forgot, I picked up this um, Lasting Perfection Collection Concealer and it's fantastic, I really like it. I um, also got the hair clips for when I'm doing my hair and the, the comb to help when I'm straightening my hair as well. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.